In this section, I'm going to cover using Capture on the EOS console. And Capture can be used in primarily two different ways. One is on a channel-by-channel -channel basis, and the second is just by entering Capture mode on the console. So I'm going to cover those and show you the difference. First, let's look at the channel-by-channel -channel basis. This is a way of taking a channel to a manual level, but capturing it there so that the channel doesn't respond to other move instructions, whether it's pushing go or moving a submaster. So, for example, I could take channel 1 at 50, I can hit capture, enter, and you'll see that the manual value has been set to 50, and then in my channel tile, there is a little C to indicate that that channel is captured. Now, if I begin running cues or begin doing any, you know, any other move instructions on the desk, that channel 1 will stay at 50% until I uncapture it. Now, the way I uncapture it, I can hit 1, capture, enter, and the little C goes away, and that channel is now uncaptured. To put the console into capture mode, I double hit the capture key, and the command line will give me a capture enable, and I hit enter. Once capture is enabled, any manual move on the console is automatically captured. So if I start moving my channel 2 or my channel 3, you'll see that each time I make a manual change, that channel is indicated as being captured. But th this is nice when you want to make sure that you capture any manual moves you make until you are ready to store that look into a queue or somewhere else into the desk. To exit capture mode, I double hit the capture key again and enter. And now we are back into a mode where those channels will respond to move instructions. And that is how you would use capture on the EOS.